Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. I'm streaming right out of uh, Naples. I'm in a town very close to Naples, Italy. So while I am enjoying here my stay, I have to put here this uh, Bitcoin update because it's just a matter of uh, time till we're going to have here a breakout here to the upside or to the downside. We are coming to the end of this wedge here where we have this green line as a resistance currently at around $9,300 and the support here of $9,000. So watch out in the next couple of hours and days guys because we're gonna come here to the end and currently I'm still more into bearish mode because I still expect here a possible breakdown here towards this uh, 200 daily moving average and the retest here of this $8,500 possibly even go lower. Also, we have the RSI currently here to the downside shifted and also stochastic is coming very close to oversold condition. So at the moment, I see more bearish signs, even though we are still in a potential a bullish pattern. So even if we would drop down here towards this target, we still could potentially have a big bounce to the upside and retest here these 9000 and also possibly break out to the upside. So watch out definitely for the next coming moves. Also, if we have a look here in the Bollinger Band in the daily, you can see that currently we are squeezing here in this tiny little channel between 9k and $9,400. And usually when Bitcoin always were in these tiny channels in the Bollinger Band, we had always a big breakout to the upside or to the downside, but the big breakout was imminent. And currently we are in a potential consolidation area after this uh, run that we had here to the upside. So usually these patterns like we are seeing right now are continuation patterns. So that means that we will see a follow through and a possible lag to the upside again and potentially also break our $10,000 resistance. The problem is only that we still have a bit of bearish signs. Also here the MACD is right flat here at the zero level. So also here we have a lot of room left to the upside or downside. We just have to wait where we're gonna break out next with high volume and also close daily candles here lower than 9k or higher than $9,400. I think this will indicate where we're gonna head to next. And I think the next move, it doesn't matter to the upside or to the downside, will be in the range of one to $2,000 to the upside or downside. And if we're gonna break out here to the downside, this is where I'm gonna start to shopping again here at around 7,200 because this area here also in the past gave us a lot of resistance support here after the crash of March. So I think if we're going to crash down here, this is where I start to scale in longs and buy some more cheaper Bitcoins in. If we're not going to see a bounce towards the 200 daily moving average, which is currently at around $8,500. And it's not necessarily now to go also through the lower time frames. This is all in the daily. You can see these important resistance and supports here in the daily because these are right now important. So I wouldn't give too much significance right now in the lower time frames. Watch out better here for the longer time frames charts because currently we are in for a big move and then you should be looking at the bigger time frames and not the lower ones. And as I told you, we're coming here to a end. We are at the end of this wedge and also in the Bollinger Band, we're squeezing within this little tiny channel. And also in the past, always when we were squeezing here in these tiny little channels in the Bollinger Band, also here, for example, in uh, 2019, we had always a big breakout. It doesn't matter to the upside or downside. Of course, in 2019, we had the big breakout to the upside. But in 2018, we had also a big breakout to the downside when we had this crash from $6,000 down to $3,000. So definitely be ready to trade, my friends. So if you still need an account over on a Bybit or BTArt where I am trading with cryptos or Tether, then make sure to sign up with the links that you find down below here because with my links, you can get some bony. Currently, we have up to $90 on Bybit, $72 on Femex. And on BTR, it's depending how much you're trading, you can get up to $258 for Boney. So definitely go and register with my links that you find down below here. It also helps the channel and also you can get some Boney as well. And with that said, guys, I'm going to wrap it up for now. This was just a small update because we are right at the beginning of a big 
breakout so definitely keep an eye right now what the price is doing in the next couple of hours or days we're gonna see here a big move and for sure you want to take profits wherever we're going so that's why be sure to be ready for all scenarios and also if you want to go short or long you can do that over on a buy bit also with small amounts you can trade up to 100x and you can get a lot of gains doesn't matter where the move is going to and also make sure to tune in our live streams over on uh, Twitch. So you find also the link to my Twitch channel down below here in the video description. And everyone is welcome to join our free Discord trading chat. The link is also down below here in the video description. So thank you very much for watching my friends. Leave a like, subscribe to the channel and also don't forget to subscribe to our $10 worth of Bitcoin giveaway that is coming up every week. The subscription video you will find at the end of this video which is popping up at the top so make sure to leave a comment and your bitcoin address there because we're gonna select randomly at the end of the week a winner of this ten dollar worth of bitcoin thank you very much my friends best regards from naples and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye